today is the day. It's the day that we change it all. Uh, big time. We, we get clean. We get organized. We, it, it's a big day. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. My name is Waddles. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. Uh, fun fact, I, I say good morning in these videos, but I don't make these in the morning. Aha! Uh, there's a story there. Hmm. Suspicious. Now, I've got to ask, uh, Wagon Gang, where are you at? Um, who, who likes to live out under the stars uh, in a wagon? Um, you know, uh, it, with nature? Uh, not me. No, no, no. <laughs> Today, uh, the plan is a storage building, and we have a lot to do. And In fact, I'm doing exactly what I shouldn't be doing right now, and that is walking around making jokes. Uh, we need to build. Um, so... I, I prepped the area for once before the episode today. We are going to build our storage building right here. Uh, we picked this location a few episodes back now, um, and I want it to face the library. Not that the library is an amazing site. Um, it's just, you, you know, I don't know. I, I think I want the town to, to go more this way instead of, like, down that way, and, they, you know, I, I don't know. Now, it, it's going to be a a big interesting day because storage buildings are um in my opinion maybe the most important building um in in your survival world storage buildings should organize and store all of or, or most of your things um i'd like to try out a, a different block combo again today so we're gonna do um oak wood um gray blocks so like stone um cobblestone and a site and then finally White terracotta, actually, the, the pinkish terracotta. I think that would look kind of cool for what I have in mind. Now, if I'm being honest, I have pretty much no idea as to how I want to go about building this build, but I do know what I want it to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying the build in, and we'll talk about storage buildings a little bit. Um, now, storage buildings are, like I just mentioned, one of the most or the most important build in your survival world. Storage buildings are a great way to help you stay organized and keep track of what you have. If your stuff is organized properly, then you can probably end up building builds a little better because you actually know what you, you have. <laughs> you see, you don't have just a bunch of random chests of things and then you, you have to just dig through it. No, that, that's not the best way to, to do things. I always recommend um, to build a storage building in your world early on, not on episode 45. Uh, no, no, no. Build it sooner than I am building mine. Because if you can get organized sooner, you're just off to a good start. Now, storage buildings are uh, another spot that I struggle in, honestly, because they need to be big. They need to have enough room to store a lot of chests and probably double chests um, at that. The trickiest part of storage building builds for me is definitely the roof. I'm fine with coming up with a giant square or a big circle or anything like that. That's, that's pretty easy for me. Uh, but putting a cap on it all, that, uh, I wouldn't say that's easy for me. Now, um, our storage building is going to be two stories, maybe three, if uh, we end up extending downwards, which we might. Based on how the land is around here, uh, a third story might be a cool thing to add on. Now let's talk about the build itself. What am I doing here? Well, I, I'm thinking we'll have a gray sturdy bottom to sort of blend in and match the library a little bit, and then we'll have a terracotta top to match you know, the white wool that we did on everything, but no more white wool, at, at least today. I am starting to grow a little tired of the white wool combination on everything. It's just, it's good and it works, but it's kind of a little too easy in, in my opinion. Like, like I kind of know what to do and uh, that's where I get bored. So um, we're gonna switch it up. I had a lot of fun building our bamboo Japanese style build. So yeah, I, I think we're gonna move this town and this whole area that we're building and uh, more of a direction like that, and, and not like a Japanese style, just like um, more random and creative and, and fun and, and cool and exciting. Exciting. So with our main door over here on the front, and for now it'll probably just be a normal door, maybe we'll come back in once we actually have slimes and, and sticky pistons and do something cooler, uh, but main door over here and tall windows, so like three high. The bottom part of the build will hold most of the storage space. There will be more storage space higher up on the build, hopefully, if I can build it how I'm imagining it, but 
um, yeah, most of it is, is down low. Now, I am really particular about my storage rooms as well. I like to have a good storage room where everything looks pretty and is labeled with item frames, which, uh, that thing, that, that kind of complicates everything because we need... Uh, to be able to easily access the chest and not hit items and spin them around and everything like that. So, um, th the way that I'm doing it here is not the most space efficient, but it looks pretty. Um, I like pretty builds, so, <laughs> um, th yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, uh, for the whole bottom, I'll just be extending all of these walls up. No windows, unfortunately. We'll come back in and mess with that a little later on, um, because we have big goals. The goal, finish the whole build today 100% so I can, like, move stuff into it off camera in between the two episodes. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and finish up this bottom lower area. It's pretty repetitive. You kind of see what I'm doing. Um, imagine this over and over again on each and every section. No back door for now, by the way. Uh, it's not going to be a thing. So um, I think that answers pretty much every question I could fathom um, to do with this build. Fancy word, too. You like it? I just learned it. You know, you know, I, I really need to find a spider farm now, or a, or a spider spawner, excuse me, because dirt scaffolding is just not cool anymore. No, no, no. I have bamboo. I I, need, I just need more string. I have a fair amount, but not um, enough string that I am willing to say, oh, okay, we'll turn it all into scaffolding. No, 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 no. What if I need something like a dispenser? Uh, but anyways, the floor, um, or floor one is done for now. Now we need to do the next story, and the next story should be it, I think. Um, I'm, I'm thinking only two stories on this build. Now, I, I know I definitely want a balcony up here, and this is where I, I think I could come in, um, maybe, with, like, a bunch of that, and then uh, we could do, like, a support um, system thing so the floor will actually show through a little bit but um, one thing that you should know is I changed the dimensions of the front already because if I want a, like a door in here I would want a three by three piston spirally thing and um, to do that I need three by three not a two by two area so yep I, I changed the dimensions but uh, I think a front balcony that looks kind of like this might be cool, and only on the front of the build. No no side balcony or anything. I, I just don't think it's necessary. Uh, and then we could cap the balcony off with some beams coming out, and um, yeah, something like that's cool. And then we'll have like the road back here or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. I like that. So... Next, I need lots of white terracotta, and this is where I get mildly afraid because I don't want to have to go over to the mesa biome. The mesa is very far. We would have to make a tunnel in the nether, and that will take some time. That's not the plan today, so um, I'm going to try my best to use only what I have and just put lots of windows or something on the build. Um... Yeah, yeah, windows are <laughs> going to come in handy today. So, on, on the top layer, we need white terracotta. Uh, we could do a big door in the middle to come out onto the balcony. Then, I, I think we want to have our build sort of follow the shape of the lower part, how it kind of curves in. So, maybe we do, like, a window there going up, and then that'll be, like, a solid wall going up as well. Probably the same height, um, walls, as the first floor, just to make sure everything is, um, balanced. Uh, then these beams, hmm, maybe this just ends, and this is, like, a balcony support beam, like, it doesn't really go anywhere, and, uh, we could just, honestly, probably do mostly terracotta on this second floor, like, um, just kind of flat walls. I think that would work, or, or we could even take these beams and have those go straight up. Um, but I think if I just kind of keep copying this whole window concept, and then going up three, uh, going over, and then I think I go up one more is what I did. So I did like two blocks above the windows. Um, yeah, something like that, but I just need to figure out, you know, what happens with these beams. Do these beams go up? Uh, probably, the, they, they should probably go up. They'll pop in and go up one. 
And then on the front, we'll just have all the depth going on. Uh, well, I have beams on the front too. So yep, these beams go up, boom, decided, done, good, cool. But um, I'd like to cut to a time lapse here. I had a lot of fun with the Q&A time lapse uh, the other day, so I'm going to copy that and uh, put that in here. And uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up most of the outside of the build. Uh, so we'll cut back when we have, um, or when we need a roof. Wish me luck. Hello, people of the past. It is me, Future Waddles, here. So, Q&A time. First question is from O. Do I plan on having any pets in the guide series? Uh, like pandas, foxes, birds, parrots, etc. Uh, yes, I, I love the idea of, of pets. We, of course, have our two dogs, which, spoiler, uh, when I tweeted the Q&A, you guys didn't know about the dogs. Uh, but, yes, I, I'd love to get more pets. That is definitely a long-term goal. Question number two is from Coolio. Are you going to try to do the bread box? Uh, Coolio, yes, I will be trying to do the bread box. The bread box is a full Chester shulker box full of bread. Um, we'll get into some crazy farms later on, and yes, that is a goal. And uh, finally, third question for now, for now, is from Skelly Wampus. Skelly asks, uh, what editing software do I use, and have I ever changed the software in my career? I use Sony Vegas 15. I got it from the Humble store when it was on like a crazy deal, and I haven't really ever changed my software. No, um, I did edit some stuff with iMovie back in the past, but um, for the most part, it's always been Sony Vegas 15. I really like the software. It's cool, it's fun, and I enjoy it. Now, we're going to cut back, but the Q&A, we'll be back to that in a minute. Well, 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 guess who is basically Superman? I made it work, uh-huh, 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 with four blocks to spare. <laughs> so I, I had just enough white terracotta, no Mesa Tunnel today, yay, I'm happy. Um, this area is a little weird looking to me, so maybe I'll mess with something, maybe some like arches in here to separate the stone up a little bit, uh, I'm, I'm not too sure, but... Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, so that means it's time to put a roof on this build. Um, this is where it's going to... Things are going to get difficult. Um, I need stone, lots of stone brick, and I think spruce wood. So my idea here is that I, I do like a... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what it's called, like a horseshoe-shaped roof? Um... Like, it'll go like that, kind of like a U. Like, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Uh, <laughs> let me go ahead, I guess, and just build some of it uh, like normal, and then I can show you what I mean. Um, yeah. Okay, so here's the shape that I'm that I'm thinking. Let's see how it looks. Um, yeah, yeah, something like that. I, I think that'll be the, the best way to, to finish this whole thing off. And then up top in this area, I'm thinking about doing like beams going up and down and then one going long ways and then just doing like white wool or something in there or even just like, I, I don't know, um, I, I don't know, something. But since the, the previous time lapse was really short, we're just going to kind of cut back into that and... Uh, that'll be the way that we finish up the exterior of this build. So, um, this one will take a little bit longer. Uh, wish me luck. Should be pretty easy, but, uh, yep, wish me luck anyways, please. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, put in a roof on. And we are back and in action. So, more questions. This next question is from Charcoal Charizard. When is face reveal? Face reveal is, of course, right now. Next, we have a question from CG. The question is, can you do a command block tutorial? I don't know how to use them, and I would like to know how. And actually, I, I think that's a really good idea. Uh, command blocks are something that I didn't really understand for the longest time either, so I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Um, uh, well, I, I might do something with that, actually. Ray Fish asks me, uh, what does your play button taste like? Um, of course, it tastes like, you know, like, like pizza, but like in water, you know, like when you, at like a get together party type thing, you, you know, like 
somebody order pizza and you're in the pool and you, you go under the water you eat the pizza kind of like that and uh, i think last but not least today is a question from jack the boss uh, the question is do you think water sheep deserved better and yes water sheep deserved better i am on team don't do that to water sheep pudes um <laughs> i i did die a, a little bit when that happened um but water sheep deserved better it was a tragic moment uh, but thank you everybody else for all of your questions as always my twitter is at it is waddles drop a follow over there to see what i'm doing what i'm posting and of course uh for the chance to be in these kinds of q a time lapses but for now let's go back to the build okay and the time lapse is now over so here's the build i am fairly happy with how it's coming along uh, i'm honestly a little unsure about this part though i i don't really know i'm thinking like a window in the middle up there uh, i do have some skylights on the roof up there to, to allow even more light down into the build and then i mixed uh, iron bars in over here to allow even more light into the build <laughs> you see i like light and bright builds now on the roof i did uh, a little build technique that i actually realized i haven't gone over yet if you ever have a roof that is large and kind of flat and kind of boring start with solid blocks so i did all of my plain old spruce planks then come back in with staircases and slabs and place these things randomly all over the roof it creates a lot of depth and variation and from afar your roof will look pretty tasty if i do say so myself it looks like uh like there's a lot of action and detail going on up there which i like now the interior of the build this is where things are going to hit a massive speed bump because i have no clue really whatsoever what i want to do i i, I really don't know what to do with the floor i i don't really know what to do up there um yeah all i know is i want a balcony around the edge um, with oak wood and i want chests along the wall like i've done over there on top of these chests we'll have item frames with whatever item is inside of the chest now of course this isn't the most you know space effective way to do things but uh this is a pretty way to do things and i mentioned earlier on that i want the build to look good so that is the goal here um but i still need to figure out what kind of floor i could do in here i have no clue whatsoever all i know is that uh, dark oak wood should go under the chests. i think that would look cool um but the floor i'm kind of tempted to do like a like a dirt and path and oak block mix thing in here that could be kind of cool but it does already look like a barn right and i don't know if i really want a barn feel in my storage building so i need to mess with some combos here can't really be gray because we did gray down low um probably wood combos and come up with something hmm i just don't know oh man you know maybe that's it maybe we need path blocks um stripped uh oak logs uh-huh and um oak planks in here that might might be the way to go it'll, it'll be a lot of wood on the floor uh, but we can definitely break it up with carpets and, and things like that so i i need to get lots of grass blocks so silk touch unfortunately you're gonna come in handy here um i don't like it but we have to yeah that'll be cool yep well the silk touch idea didn't work that was taking way too long <laughs> i uh, decided to just place um, grass or dirt all over in there and let it fill in and by the way in, in during this time two patrols now the first one i was just gonna let slide i i had drunk a milk bucket and it was no big deal but the second one i i was like oh my gosh this is obnoxious um we have to mention it it's it's interesting it's weird they are spawning all over the place uh it's not that big of a deal though because i've learned that they are nothing to be afraid of i am i am the boss here and yeah now uh, i didn't mention this either so the chests can still open on the top i'm doing staircases in there you can you can see what i'm doing over there um and if you put it's a little trick and if you didn't know this one if you place chests um below a solid block they won't open but if you place them below uh, a non-solid one like stairs or slabs uh, it'll work still uh, but not on the bedrock edition so sorry bedrock players 
Now I am still honestly not sold on this floor idea, so I, I think I'm gonna put it in, but if you have a floor idea, you let me know, um, and maybe I'll change it, but yeah, I, I think I need to just get it in and, and take a look. I don't know, I'm so not sold on it though. I'm really like thinking the path blocks don't belong in here, so I don't know. Um, I'm really not sure. Balcony's coming along though. The balcony is is just gonna be fine like this. This will be cool. Uh huh. That'll be the staircase. A nice big split, and this will be a stained glass window, by the way. Big window over there would be cool. You know what? Uh, I was thinking, and I think I just uh, came up with a better idea than this whole um, whatever you want to call it thing with the paths. What about a black and white checkered floor? That might be really cool, and we haven't done one anywhere. Uh, the balcony is fine like this. Um, oh boy, I just figured it out. Uh huh. That's what I'm, I'm gonna try it, guys. I'm I'm gonna try it. A lot of people don't like checkered floors, but you just watch. You just watch and see. It'll be sweet. Um, with concrete powder, by the way. Concrete powder is the only way to go with that. Um, and unhardened ones too. Like like. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm excited about this one now. I'm really, really excited. Uh-huh. I think I have the idea. All right, one more thing. I have to cut in and tell you about this. The idea, it, it's evolving like crazy now. The smithing table is a really interesting looking block. I think we could actually incorporate this into the floor uh, over here. If we create a section of uh, this whole build that goes down, uh, we could definitely do like maybe some smithing tables in here and um, then I'll have like staircases coming down over here to step in and oh man, I think I am onto something. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the, this is, you're gonna be amazed. Uh, when I come back in a minute, you are going to be amazed. <laughs> <laughs> so I can say I have some really cool ideas here. Um, you'll see. Okay, so here's a teaser of the idea. Uh, we'll have a, a lower floor with all um, smithing tables, and then I'll add another wall back here, right? So we can do even more storage, because uh, why not? And then um, same thing on the other side. In the center, we'll do black and white checkered floor. We'll have this whole balcony area that goes up, and then I'll do um, some kind of fencing around it. I don't know how I'm going to do it quite yet, because um, technically we should have another beam coming up there. So maybe I just put a beam in and go straight up. I don't know. Um, but, yep, another beam there. And then maybe some, like, smaller, less useful stuff up top, like... Um, I don't know, just things that I don't need every single day, so that's the whole plan. That's the build, and that is the, the transformation that I am trying to get in here and trying to make happen. So wish me luck, um, but I am finally super happy with um, the vision and, and what I'm thinking, and do I want to do that? Um, maybe not. Maybe we just want these. Um, yeah. Oh, and, and up top in the attic area, um, I'm thinking like a room for bulk storage. Like, I have a lot of cobblestone. Uh, that kind of stuff can go up top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, the first sighting of um, good old Big and Bark today. Uh, they're looking at my food, but sorry, dogs, none for you. So, project's done, but first, comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is from Sacred Psycho. The comment is a uh, bit off topic, but how do you get slime balls when slime chunks are bugged? Do you have a swamp nearby? 
Um, and, uh, the answer to, uh, swamp nearby, yes, I do. By the way, if there's background noise all of a sudden, there's a, a massive storm. I don't know what it is. Um, it's very loud, and it's thundering outside. I've been waiting, but, it, but it's not stopping. So, <laughs> we're going ahead with the, with the recording. Uh, but yes, I, I do have a swamp nearby, and that would be the best way to get slime balls if... Um, your slime chunk is bugged, kind of like, uh, mine are, or at least like I think mine are. Uh, you would want to run around in a swamp at nighttime and kill, oh, another patrol. Uh, you'd want to run around in the swamp at nighttime and kill slime, and that would be the best way to do it, but, um, I actually don't have any slime balls in this world, really, like, for the most part, like, yeah, um, I, I haven't had any, so I can't use them. But the build, boom, here we go. So, black and white checker floor, I think that worked out. Uh, lots of chests, lots of frames. Each section here is 10 chests, double chests. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 times 2, 120 double chests of storage. That is crazy. Now up top, uh, I have absolutely nothing yet, but I am thinking about uh, like the like chests sort of just, just sitting up here and I can put like maybe seeds or saplings and on these chests I can just do the frames. Not a big deal because we can hit the top of the chests. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about doing up here. And then finally in the top part of this uh, build up here is bulk storage. So like just extra cobble, things like that. At least for now, I have a better idea for bulk storage that we'll do later on but yeah for now that'll that'll go up there now uh over here ladder to climb up that's temporary i'm thinking scaffolding uh and then uh, you will notice that nothing has changed on the outside of the build whatsoever um and as time has passed i have grown uh more unhappy with with the top and and what it looks like so um, I think next episode, we're, well, I know next episode, we will finish the outside of this build and the details on the inside. I didn't do really any of the details. I just have uh, the actual, like, use in uh, the storage chest. So details, maybe fix the top area and do a little bit more to the outside of the build next episode. Uh, but today, this is the end. So I'd like to send a special shout out to guy on moose for supporting me um and thank you everybody else for watching as always my name is waddles go have a good day this has been episode 45 i'll see you next time goodbye